Cheerio. Bonjour. Okay, before I'm gonna talk about Sarah Boone. She she wrote another letter. And you know she had six attorneys. This may be her seventh. But you know they've all told her to stop this. Yet she's smarter than everyone. I look great, don't I? Oh, look, I'm a hot mess. Okay, but ready? Ready? That's how dumb this girl is. These letters, they may be brought into her case, but I'm not sure that they really even need to because she chose to videotape her crime. <laughs> As someone commented recently, um, no, she made the choice to give her phone. Well, she did give her phone, but they had already had a search warrant. So if she had said no, they would have had her phone you know, by 7 p.m. that night anyway, so it didn't matter. But this is dated May 15th. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I could have at least combed my hair for this. I'm not searching for compliments because, my goodness, you'd be lying if you had to give me any. When I'm in my mail truck, I have to pull my hair all the way up because I have these fine hairs down here, and I don't have the money like Kim Kardashian does to get rid of those. Well, my husband always says that I look like pebbles, and I probably do a little bit, but it's more important to me to not have my hair in my face, and for this, I don't want my hair in my face. Okay, let's fix my little pebbles thing. There, I'm pebbles now. Ready? And if you don't know who pebbles are, is, you're way too young, and you probably should not be watching my channel, but anyway, you know, it's easy. Okay, our favorite... Luggage consultant. You ready? So this is a letter addressed to the judge, Judge Wooten, her attorney, Frank Bankowitz, and also the whole wide world. <laughs> she doesn't understand that her own actions are why the whole wide world knows who she is. I mean, seriously. She's, her very first paragraph starts with the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary Definition of Perspective. I'm not even going to read it. She does say, I wonder how many people are, are going to actually look up the definition to see if it's the same. Okay, I did not. I, I trust that she's in prison or jail. Excuse me a moment. Allergies are kicking my butt out here. I've lived here my whole life, and I mean, they're killing me right now. Um, but I assume she's in jail and has plenty of time to access a dictionary, so I'll trust her definition on perspective. But here's where we began. Ready? Please review. So, everyone. So this means she put the words in caps. Sarah is really big on capitalizing words and the quotations. I guess she thinks her point will come across even further that way, but okay. Please review so everyone has a clearer, better understanding of my continued concerns, hindrances, questions, and frustrations with the justice system and the solid, absolute remissness of my case. Okay, I haven't, I haven't read this before. Uh, remissness means due process, uh, things going at a good time. Okay, and the due process of, okay, so she just doubled herself up with that. I am and have been waiting very patiently and maintaining what I can sense no one else has or will, it seems. My goodness, this woman has doesn't know what a sentence structure is. Use a freaking semicolon. I mean, goodness. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to, okay, I'll start again. I am and have been waiting very patiently and maintaining what I can since no one else has or will, it seems. And I feel at this point, six attorneys later, and quotations, 39 months, almost three and a half years, which I will make... I don't really understand that. And not by choice. 
I need to make all aware of my immense struggle with the extreme mismanagement of my case to date. Was that the longest sentence you've ever read in your entire fucking life? I mean, goodness. Let's look at the bigger picture. Okay, now this is my part. The bigger picture is, honey bunny, you chose to uh, zip your boyfriend up in a suitcase and leave him there while he's begging for his life. But the best part is you chose to videotape that. Your choice. None of us did that. I didn't do that. Maria didn't do that. I mean, come on now. I'll start it. Let's look at the bigger picture or perspective because she's writing this to the attorney and the judge and she thinks they don't understand what perspective means. Excuse me. I'm back to the letter. To get a better view of what I have had more than enough time to see and realize. Where's the subject in that sentence? I, I don't. This woman's very dumb. I'm hoping by doing so, eyes can finally be opened and very overdue. Longed for progress and finalization can be had. Okay, finalization. That means she gets released from jail. Honey, you've got about 22 more years. So. The growing a mass of ignorance, manipulation, slander, and advantageous gain must stop. My truth needs to be heard, and it is my right. Okay, darling, your truth was heard. You videotaped your freaking truth. Goodness, this, oh. Do not give me rights expecting me not to fully utilize them. I voted for the president and governor while here in jail. And you know what? It's probably your last time because once you're a felon, you can't vote again unless you live in Virginia because I had a Democrat governor that was desperate, so he granted all the felons their rights again. And he won by just a few thousand votes. Isn't that weird? Anyway, okay. And the pre she voted. That's what I said. Now, here we go back. And stop violating what I've been trying to utilize or lessen the value of my capabilities and opportunities. This girl is stupid. I mean, she can't even write a stinking sentence. I am not apologetic in any way for being an observant, hardworking <laughs> She hasn't had a paying job in five years. Now, for the three years, she hasn't had a paying... Well, she's a trustee. My bad. She's getting paid for that. 17, 19 cents an hour or something. Um, but, darling, honey, you ain't no hard worker. Hard working, above average, non-stereotypical inmate. What's a stereotypical inmate, anyway? Really? Come on, man. I can only imagine, sadly, how others, not as outspoken as myself, have been and are being mistreated, overlooked, and dehumanized. Get it together. She's right. She's right. I'm going to guess that the inmates who are not as outspoken as she is probably will have better outcomes in their trial. Okay. Now, this is addressed simply to Judge Wooten. Number one, at what point do you evaluate and intercede in a case to make sure there is proper advancement, regular communication between the attorney and client, ethical treatment of client is being upheld, time frames are being met, etc. Again, I mean, there, were, there was three sentences in that. Clearly, you know of and have known of the prolongation, good word, of my difficulties from your comments regarding my letters, but with no intervention from you to change anything for a better, less problematic process. Let's hope this girl has at least a high school education. Oh my goodness. And if she does, 
Let's hope that high school hides itself. I mean, this is pathetic. You've told me in the past when I've tried to voice my legitimate concerns to you in the courtroom, parenthesis, five times total in 3.3 years, parenthesis, and in my letters to save it for my next attorney, if told anything at all. Do tell your honor which attorney. Okay, Sarah, you're on your sixth attorney, and again, it may be seven. Three of them left because they had represented either you or George in an assault case. Okay, so those three attorneys had to go. The other three left because you're a difficult client to work with. Bankowitz, he, he doesn't want to be there. He asked to be removed from the case. Bankowitz stood in court in March and said, we're having a hard time finding a professional, or anything, it's not, wasn't professional, a specialist, that is willing to work for the state rate, the state rate of pay. No, you're having a hard time finding a professional who doesn't want to destroy their entire career by saying this was a battered woman. She was, she may have been a little bit battered, but within one hour of the police showing up at that home, Brian stood right in front of that real pretty little black cop and said, for all I know, every time George was arrested, he was simply defending himself. And I believe that's pretty much an exact quote or a direct quote. I mean, Sarah was the problem. Brian also told that pretty little black cop when he and Sarah would drink, he was able, he never got that drunk. And so he was able to stay away, you know, keep himself out of harm's danger, AKA Sarah Boone. Anyway. Okay, here's a bullet point now. I'm on my sixth, whom I've not seen in person for another three month period. 12 weeks, 89 days and counting. Okay, March, April, April to May. Okay, well that's not true. She saw him in March. They had a hearing in March. She's sitting there, she's 60 pounds heavier than she was on the day of the arrest. She's got this horrendous haircut. I mean, the back of her hair is shaved like a dude and then she's got this part that just fall it, it, the stylist in the jail in Orange County not very good I'm not sure I'd make an appointment with them another bullet point Frank J. Bankowitz has been appointed as my attorney by the court to represent me in my case she actually says care but she means case Oh, maybe that is an S. Okay. And has been for 10 months and counting. Total approximate hours of repu representation, 7,200. Okay. If he has represented you for 7,200 hours, then you're getting fine care or representation. And she contradicts herself. She's very, very dumb. Here's the issue. She thinks she's very, very smart. I think Prince Harry married a woman similar to this. New bullet point. Total times attorney met with client. Six. These are all bullet points. Phone numbers given to client by attorney. Two. <laughs> Sorry. Phone calls answered from client by attorney. Zero. Outside sources calling attorney on behalf of client. Three. I'm surprised she has anyone supporting her. And I will say this. When I went to pull this uh, off the website, the Orange, excuse me, the website, Orange County website, Brian just foreclosed on their home. And I don't really get that. I mean, he bought her out of the home and handed her, I think, it's either 44000 or 44000 was the equity and she got half. Um, I sure hope Brian's not helping her. I didn't really understand why he would still help her. You know, right before the murder, her bank account went overdrawn $17. And he sent her $30 to get it covered. I don't really understand why he was doing that. And I know he did that often. Well, the way to fix that problem is to stop solving it for her. 
phone calls, emails, voicemails, answer by attorney, zero. Okay, how come an inmate has email? I'm not really comfortable with that. Letters client sent to attorney trying to communicate, seven. I'm not surprised by that. Letters defendant client sent to judge trying to communicate, animate attorney in unsuccessfulness, five. She's dumb. Very dumb. She videotaped her crime. I mean, how dumb is she? And she's making it worse. Every one of these letters are worse. Did I already say this? These letters will either be brought into the trial or they won't because they have enough evidence. They really don't need much more. 15-minute video visits between attorney and client, three. Attended court date scheduled, two. I was an attempted withdrawal, the other an allowance to finally be included in my PTC pretrial, I thought it was PTH, pretrial hearing, but which was the same information carried over from all the others. Now what? She does write a really cute little uh, question mark. Her penmanship is perfect. It's great. Why are you allowing, enabling, my, my constitutional rights to be continuously violated? History lesson for everyone. Okay, so then she writes all these out. The First Amendment, okay, she doesn't write what these amendments mean, but we all know the First Amendment is freedom of speech. Okay, Fourth Amendment, unreasonable seizures. I assume she's talking about her telephone. They should not have taken her phone. Fifth Amendment. The right to not self-incriminate. You all know that. I plead the fifth. Okay, well, honey bunny, you taped your crime. Sorry. I didn't tape it. You taped it. Sixth Amendment are the rights for people incarcerated. Eighth Amendment, excessive bail. Okay, well, in Florida, if you get charged with any kind of murder charge, um, first, second, or third degree murder, there is... No bail. Excuse me. I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, manslaughter does have a bail because manslaughter is something different. You could have accidentally shot the person. You guys remember Michael Draca? He shot a dude, Marquise. Marquise something. He was a father with three children. And he shot him for no reason. <laughs> uh, but he was a manslaughter charge. He was released on bail. He served 10 years and he's out now. The 14th Amendment. Okay, the 14th Amendment is very, very similar to the 6th. It's rights for people incarcerated. However, the 14th Amendment was really written so that slaves who had been released would have no liens on them. Is that what I'm trying to say? No one could come get them again because they had been released. So the 14th Amendment. Sorry, girl. You ain't no slave. Okay. Okay, so number two was the amendments. Number three. Why am I being judged for my legitimate letters? I write in order to know the status of my case or attorney. And how much longer before something substantial occurs in the progress of 3.3 years later other than the inappropriate prejudgments being made due to the excessive amount of my case information online, comma, bigger and meaner fabrications of my case sensitive details in which I have not seen, comma, and even greater, comma, mind-numbing one-sided ignorance. So just... 40 seconds ago, I said that may be the worst sentence, longest I've ever read. I think this one tops it. This girl has no education. None. None. If I didn't write my letters, well, nothing would happen. But your letters are going to make your sentence a little bit longer. The jury is choosing between 20 years and 25. The letters are going to push you up to 25. Okay. If I didn't write my letters, would you or anyone be aware of all my rightful concerns 
still and ongoing. Oh, it's a question mark there. Is a perpetual question mark over a defendant's head the norm during a case due to inactivity? No communication, no help or intervention, or answers being given by anyone in the justice system. Honestly, what has been done about or with any of my letters other than being scanned slash uploaded incorrectly? Okay, they're not uploaded incorrectly. There's no period here, but she starts another sentence. I made sure to correct so everyone is up to speed on my case status. Unfortunately, it is all I have to report at this time. Okay. None of that made any sense to me. I'm not going to go back and read it because she gives me a headache. I mean, her incompetence is just about painful. Painful. Number four. And remember, these are all to Wooten. Why are you allowing numerous case safety and protection elements to be breached, violated, manipulated? It should be violated and manipulated. Oh my goodness. Should I tell you again how dumb she is? I mean, this girl didn't even ever go to an English class. Why has a gag order never been implemented? Okay, well, I can tell you something. I have followed this case very closely. Not one attorney has ever asked for a gag order. So maybe that's why it hasn't been implemented, dumb dumb. No one asked for one. But it doesn't matter. It, we all would have seen the tapes. So, you know, Sarah, that's my name, don't wear it out. I mean, she's psychotic. My case has turned into an unnecessary witch hunt from the innumerable, spelled incorrectly, violations of my case details being leaked and racketeered. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's so stupid. And she's, man. Illegally, in exchange for website hits, viewer ratings, etc., in exchange for money, money, money. What is your cut, Your Honor? I did not make that up. She actually just said that to this judge. How much are you making off me by intentionally delaying my case? Hello, you dumbass. The thing is, she gave up her right to a what's a fair and speedy trial or a quick and speedy she gave up that right she had the right I do not know what it is in Florida my phone's over there in most states you have a right I think within 120 days to have your trial she's the one who said no it's okay I cannot believe she just asked the judge how much money he's going to make off this you choose who knows what where and how in your courtroom. You choose who knows what, where, and how in your courtroom. Okay. When did court minutes become live? Well, let's think. 1989, Betty Broderick murdered her, her ex-husband and his wife, and I watched almost all of those courtroom minutes. That was 1989, so I'm going to assume it was prior to that. Sarah, you were around for O.J. Simpson. Every time he was in a courtroom, there was a stinking camera, and it went live. Okay, so another dumb question. Are you the one who authorizes the upload to the Internet? I mean, I'll tell you what. If I had a man who was getting ready to make decisions about my case, so, you know, objection, Your Honor. I don't know how much of the... Johnny Depp trial you watched. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Overruled. No, I'll allow that. The last thing I would do to the man who's going to be, or the person who's going to be making those decisions is bashing them and accusing them of taking bribes. But then again, 
You know, I, I'm not in jail for second degree murder charges. It's all about how much rather than how did it happen, no matter the destruction caused in the meantime and is irreparable. I'm not sure this little girl went to even elementary school uh, grammar classes. Um, we know how it happened, Sarah. You zipped him in a suitcase. You tossed him down the stairs. You told police the suitcase was upstairs. That's the only re It was upstairs in the back of the closet. Well, then how did it get downstairs? You also told police that you hid in the shower and George didn't come find you. And so that made you mad. So there's a little bit more motive right there. Oh, my goodness. My case is now a global event with the video, the video where she murdered someone, receiving over 3 million hits, depending on the website. Well, she forgot about me because her, I've shown the video a couple times. And I have a few thousand hits. So 3 million, 3,000. Come on, Sarah. Hook a girl up. I had some views on your video. In turn, making me realize that's over 3 million less unprejudiced, unbiased, non-discriminatory, fair jurors I will have access to on my case. Okay, she meant to say I will not have access to. But Sarah, there are not 3 million people in Orange County. So, you're that sentence didn't really make sense either. How is that going to work? Now what? Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to, I can't even say this sentence without laughing. If you're going to play hide and seek with your partner, what adult plays hide and seek anyway? Um, don't zip them up. And if you do, let them out. And then also don't do a few other things. That first day, that Monday, the pretty little black cop, Sarah said, and I unzip, unzip, unzip. And she does all three sides. She doesn't even realize it. Well, because she's being honest. She had to unzip, unzip, unzip. The next day, talking to Chelsea, Chelsea and Scott, worst interrogators ever. I want the at one point Scott or Sarah says, I just wanted to give him five minutes. And Scott says, Five minutes for what? And it's quiet for about two seconds. And Chelsea right away, Well actually he gave him eleven minutes. Shut up, Chelsea. Let her answer the question. These two inter these two detectives were terrible. Terrible. They talk over each other, they ask her questions and they don't listen. I and mean, Scott's got a stinking gun on him. He has a gun on him. This woman already murdered somebody. Just because you're in a suitcase, you're not in a suitcase, doesn't mean she may not murder you. Okay, number five. Factoring. Factoring, comma, important, comma, private details should not be made ready and available for the world to know about before I, the defendant, does. Correct? Question mark. Okay, that, that horrendous beginning. But again, I, I don't think this girl made it past third grade. Um, actually, Sarah, we're simply finding out everything. It's all public information. Once you get arrested, you lose many, many rights. This is wrong, unconstitutional, unfair, and not how justice is supposed to work for anyone. I'm tired of having motives attributed to me that are unreal, assumed, and inappropriate. This is not legal. Okay, well, honey, your motives were that you zipped your boyfriend up in a suitcase. How about, do you guys remember during the interrogation, it's, it's almost, oh, that's fun. I feel like a school teacher. Towards the end of the interrogation, I believe they're waiting on the crime scene people. You know, they tell Sarah, he's got deep scratch marks that are different. May we swab your fingers? She's like, absolutely, yes. Okay. They just told you they have more 
things to get from you. And what do you do? You just say yes. But they're waiting for the crime scene woman and, and who has great, pretty blonde hair. And Sarah asked about the wedding ring. What about George's wedding ring? When will I get that back? Okay, bitch. I'm sorry. Wench. You weren't married. So why was he wearing a wedding ring? Sarah was with this guy because she had a lot of her own problems. But this guy had worse problems. And if she could help him, it made her feel better about herself. Excuse me one moment. Quickly, do you know what we're doing for dinner? Nope. Okay. Anything? Okay. Billet point six. Billet bullet. This is what a trial is for, correct? Now we just go to six, seven. At this point, what can even be rightfully suppressed in my case? Once you ring the bell, it cannot be unrung. It's already been heard and seen. I don't even know where the bell is or who's ringing it. Sarah, you're ringing the bell. You rung it in the first place when you chose to videotape yourself murdering him. And then, what, this is the fifth or seventh letter to the court? You, every time you write these silly letters, you're ringing it. You accusing the judge of extending your case so he can make money on YouTube is ringing the bell. I mean, can you even imagine what sort of person would accuse a judge of taking a bribe? Number eight. When I do, when, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. When do I, the main component in my case, actually get to know, see, hear everything everyone else already has? When am I going to be included also? She's there for all this stuff. Drama queen. Okay, number nine. When is the next status hearing you stated would happen before my PTC? It's pre-trial. I really thought it was a PTH, a pre-trial hearing. But when they say PTC, that's a pre-trial or something. Her case is set now to begin July 11th, but I believe she's already had five other trial dates, so. And then she makes an obnoxious comment. Yes, I know, her girl can be obnoxious. My attorney's one year mark, am I included? Okay, well her attorney, Bankowitz, is defending, has a death row case. In the last hearing, Wooten asked, how much time are you guys gonna need? They'll need three days for jury selection. I think they're gonna need a little bit longer. The state says it can present his case in three days, and Bankowitz says it can present his, <coughs> his case in three days. So the moment that 10 days is over, Bankowitz has a death penalty case, and death penalty cases are a priority. So she needs a new attorney. Number 10, what else can I do to ensure the productivity, communication, incorruptibility, appropriation and intellectualism of my case. This girl has a few words that are three syllables and so, whoa, I'll just put all of them in one sentence. Again, she never made it past third grade grammar. It is my right to know so I can begin or continue for true progress of any kind to finally be succeeded. She actually believes she's going to be released once her trial is over. I, I genuinely believe that. Okay, now the letter goes to Frank Bankowitz, her court appointed attorney. I don't know if you've seen, I have a video of it. This dude looks like he's 95 years old. He's using a walker to get around the court and he's not even using the walker very well. So I'd be a little worried right there. Okay, so to Frank, where are you? Well, he's out in the free world, <laughs> dummy. He's not drinking milk out of a bag. Our last in-person was February 15th, 2023. Okay, that's not true. They had an in-person on her PTC, her pretrial, whatever, in March. Okay, so she lies also. Number two, when is our next meeting? Okay, you know what? I, I will say this. He has given her phone numbers. 
He does not answer those phone calls. He doesn't call her back. Apparently, he doesn't respond to her emails, which I still don't really understand why you're in jail and you have access to email. But I'll give her that. This guy is kind of slack. But he doesn't want to represent her. She was not a battered spouse. That's just the bottom line. If you had to zip George, zip, 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 as Sarah did, in the suitcase because you were scared for your life, you zip him up and then you pick up the phone and you call 911 and you say, I'm standing out front of my townhouse. My boyfriend zipped up inside because I think he's going to kill me. And 911 gets there and they let him out and they figure out what's going on. Her, her argument is foolish. It's nonsense. Okay. I already said, when's our next meeting? Remember, please, there are still time-sensitive matters pressing. I'm not so sure about that, honey. You chose to videotape your crime. FYI, and for those of you in Rio, Linda, that means for your information. In the 10 months of your representation, but she didn't write the word correctly. She put it over two lines and then messed it up. Here are the six, parentheses, six. Well, that's fine. I mean, I should have been a school teacher. Goodness. Meeting dates, which have occurred so you can see prospectively. Remember, the letter started with the definition from Merriam-Webster of what perspective is. The massive time gaps in between while I've been sitting eagerly waiting, wondering, wondering. Okay. There are, part of the reason I believe she may have a chance of appeal, oh shoot, my battery's gonna die, uh, is because of this stuff. And she's had six attorneys. It doesn't matter, she can get a new trial. She's going to be convicted. Okay, number three. Why aren't you fixing either of the two, sorry, sorry, two phone numbers you gave me? upon your appointment back in July. Okay, because he doesn't want to talk to you. Because you're creepy and evil and you murdered somebody. Every time I ask you about, it's a different excuse. Goodness. She may not have made it past first grade English. Much progress can be had in a very expeditious manner if completed. Oh, I'm impressed she knows the word expeditious. Why has it not Almost a year later. So she could have written that completely different, put a semicolon in it, and it would have made perfect sense. I need to get over that, don't I? Yes. Why do you keep telling me to call when you know they don't work? Okay. Another terrible sentence. Well, what's they? They don't work? As said before, public defenders answer their calls and reply to mail. Why are you unable or unwilling? See the difference it will make? It, he can answer your phone 17 times a day, honey. You still zip George up in the suitcase. And when he begged you to get out, you, you told him to F off. And then you said, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Right, so Bankowitz could answer your phone 27 times a day, not just 17. Okay, number four. Our agreement made from one of my letters I wrote earlier this year after not hearing from you in a solid five, short the word five, and then let's see, five, because she thinks that's going to help, months prior was to connect every two weeks with or without any significant progress. Okay, I, I agree with that. I Maybe every two weeks is a little stiff, but man, if I'm sitting in jail... 39 months now on a second degree murder charge. I want to hear from my attorney as well. I mean, I get that. What she doesn't realize is she's so difficult and she doesn't have a chance. If you look up the definition of um, battered spouse syndrome, it's ironic, isn't it? That it's BSS because it's a BS in this case. She doesn't have anything, nothing. Why? I'll underline, sorry. I'm on my left hand with the underlining now. So, you know, everyone was born right-handed. Only the gifted overcome it. Why have you not been upholding this agreement? 
even in a 15 minute video visit. Oh, look at that. No Alba arms there. Been doing my push ups a little bit more. Remember, oh, she's going to give advice to this attorney. <laughs> the jail trustee walking around in orange scrubs. I'm not really sure what happened. You can see technology is not my forte. Oh, there's Oscar way back there. And it's now two or three hours later. The man came out and we started chit chatting. But anyway, so let's get back to this letter. You may have seen 10 or 20 seconds of nothing. I apologize and thank you for hanging on there. Okay, here we go. Back to the most intelligent girl ever. And my goodness, I do look silly. Anyway, okay. Remember, back to the letter. Remember, a phone call is another option and not as difficult tech, she wrote technologically, techno, okay, she's correct, technologically, okay. A working number is needed, just one. Okay, sweetheart, his phone number probably works. He doesn't want to talk to you because you're psychotic, you murdered a man, and you're very difficult to deal with. Okay, number five. What are your anticipated dates? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me start over. What are your anticipated dates of completion for anything already discussed and will eventually, comma, goodness, when do you actually show up for an in-person scheduled meeting, question mark? I mean, that, I, I guarantee you she did not get past first grade grammar. There are, this is a good one, there are a 1,000, and this is what it says, there are a 1,000 little fires needing to be put out. You're holding the fire hose. A terrible, terrible sentence. Sweetheart, you're the one ringing the bell, and you don't know why it's being rung? Well, it's being rung because of stuff like this. You're just hurting yourself. Okay. This is not a number six. This is just a new paragraph. She does two paragraphs pretty well. Please see from my perspective, and remember, she all gave us the definition of perspective. The botched, comma, eye-rolling experience I am going through still, and how I believe anyone would act or do if in my slides, doing the same, and that's what it says. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please see from my perspective the botched, eye-rolling experience I am going through still, comma, and how I believe anyone would act or do if in my slides, doing the same. Maybe in my situation, but no, it says slides, and it's quotes. S-L-I-D-E-S. -E okay, well, sweetheart, a lot of people wouldn't be in their your situation. A, they wouldn't zip their boyfriend up in the suitcase, and B, they wouldn't videotape it. Had she not videotaped this, I find it hard to believe Orange County would have been able to charge her with anything. This, everything, this woman is not realizing consequences, or actions have consequences, and these are her consequences. Okay. Do not fault me in trying to make the best, comma, most successful outcome possible for myself in every aspect in the convoluted predicament I am in and have been over the last 3.3 years. Okay. Again, she forgets she's in this predicament because of herself. You know, that idiot Scott detective, the dude who wore the gun. And I, I can't believe he wore a freaking gun into the interrogation. Um, you did this to yourself. Okay, Scott just said something, and it made me think of it, and I've already forgotten. Because it, I'm, I struggle with this one. Okay, you ready for this one? This is good. And I've, again, I have not read this, but I only see the first few words, and it's making me laugh. I would rather be called a narcissist, pain in the ass, arrogant, strange, or whatever any whatever else anyone wants to waste their time to think of. 
dash. Just don't call me a murderer, which I am not. Okay, Sarah. Hmm. If not for you, where would George be right now? Probably not dead at six feet in the ground. It gets me. No one knows me except for the ludicrous insanity that's been made up, mocked, edited, and spewed all over the internet. It's not me. Okay, nothing has been um, mocked or edited. I'm sorry. We have mocked you. Nothing's been edited, honey. Sarah, I want to get out. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Okay, nobody edited that, darling. We're at the very last paragraph, thank God. I'm hoping and praying. I don't believe this woman has much faith in God. Let's start over. I'm hoping and praying my highly anticipated day will come, whenever that will be. It's God's timing. I continue to wait smiling. She's smiling. Doctor, what's up? I'm smiling. Oh, my cheeks look cute here. Must be that Lavelle I had six or eight weeks ago. Right. At least everyone will know I'm not sitting around eating bonbons watching soap operas. Okay, I don't think anyone thought for one moment you're eating bonbons or watching soap operas. Because, honey bunny, you're in jail. And I haven't been in jail. But I don't think they serve bonbons and show soap operas. Application is the product of the lesson. I'm struggling not to vomit. I have eaten dinner in the meantime. And I had a little fish and a little flounder. It was excellent. But, I mean, it's starting to almost come up right now. Give me my chance appropriately, correctly and fairly in court. Unfortunately, my perspective of our justice system is incredibly dim and dull. Really? I hope my very overdue blinding light has shown brightly for all to see a glimpse of how it really works and being a system. We all have to work together to function in unison. Oh, she spelled that word correctly. Please help. See the difference. Hold on. Hold on. Let me start. I'm trying to use her punctuation properly. Please help. See the difference I'm trying to be and make, waiting and wondering. Again, it makes no sense. Keeping it real, now what? She actually wrote keeping it real, now what? Now what? Okay. I really should have been a school teacher because this is fun. Uh, I do not anticipate, oh, big word for me, anticipate her trial beginning July 11th. They can't find a professional. You guys, if you watch the poop girl trial, you know, Johnny Depp versus the poop girl. She had some shrink on there that had this weird hair. He was an older guy. All, he had beautiful gray colored hair and a nice head of hair. Look at how filthy my shirt is. Goodness. Um, but he made a fool of himself. He talked about... he. He figured out Johnny from watching his movies. And this dude was, at one point he looks at the judge and he said, do I have to answer that question? And the judge replies, you have to answer questions. Um, that poop girl had a forensic psych, maybe not forensic, but a, a shrink to prove that that poop girl had PTSD. That poor shrink, I mean... You could almost see the sweat dripping off her brow by the end of the cross-examination. She was crucified. Terrible. This girl doesn't get it. I fully do believe. Fully do believe? If I say do, I say do do. That's do do. Do do. Poop. I fully believe she will probably win an appeal. And it's all just because of this drama. But she's will ultimately be convicted again. She's facing 25 years to life. I've looked it up in, in Florida. 
her 25 years, hi Oscar, you know, her 25 years, I think she's going to serve 18 before she comes up for a parole. And I guarantee Sarah Boone, like Betty Broderick, believes she did nothing wrong. And so she will not have remorse. Okay, you have to have remorse to get out. Do you guys remember, what was that dude's name up in Wisconsin? Oh, Stephen Avery. I think he spent 18 years in a prison for a rape he absolutely did not commit. He could have been released within four years of his conviction. And then again, two years later and another two years later. But all he had to do was say, I'm sorry, but it, it's really creepy, but he had principle and he wouldn't say he was sorry. Well, it turns out he didn't do it, <laughs> but he ended up murdering a woman and the little photographer and he's in prison now for that. But he, that one he did do. But I mean, man, I'll give him kudos for that. I, I trust I'll never, ever be in that situation. But if I am, I hope that I have the principles of Stephen Avery to say, I realize you would let me out if I will just confess, but man, I didn't do this. I mean, that's tough. I, I think it was 18 years. What he's in prison for now, he 100% did. But I mean, that's, that's tough. This girl, you know, I said in the beginning of the video, excuse me, you know, I, I've already told you guys, the allergies are killing me. I don't know if you can see it. My swimming pool, oh, there's no way you can see it. It has so much pollen on the top of it. You know, the filter runs at night. But, I mean, it's a half an inch thick. The pollen's kicking our butts. Sarah's not ever going to take responsibility. And I heard this three years ago, I'm not sure if it's true, but that she was offered a 10 year plea deal and she laughed at it. Had she taken that deal, she'd be 18 months from her first parole hearing. 18 months, I mean, that's really nothing if you're sitting in jail. She's a trustee, so she's making whatever, 39 cents an hour, 18 cents an hour, you know, cleaning. I get it. I assume if you're in jail, being a trustee is a good thing because then you're out of your cell. Okay. If you're still watching right now, I apologize for the little drama in between the split of these videos. I'm old. I don't know what I'm doing. If you want to help me make videos, please reach out. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Take care of yourselves. And oh my goodness, God bless this America.